we have bucket list things to do and see in Bermuda. This is Bob from Bucket List Cruise and Travel. We're coming to you today from Bermuda. We are on the Mariner of the Seas, and we're going to show you what we have experienced throughout our stay on this beautiful island. We found some amazing experiences that are not always available to the general public while we were on Bermuda. First on our list today, we swam in an underground cavern. This was an incredible experience. You have to know that this cavern is privately owned, but give us a call and we can help you arrange a day that you can swim in this underground cavern as well. In the island of Bermuda and exclusive to the guests staying here is Cathedral Cave. It's a natural cenote type cave located on the property of the hotel. We're gonna do some daring diving and see what it's like. So basically, this natural pool is available for hotel guests. I'm imagining a great wedding destination here in Bermuda. This would be the place to stay. I don't know you get in. <laughs> it's cold. It's, it's chilly. There's a, a nice ladder. So the water is deep. And I am getting dripped on. <gasps> but we have the place to ourselves. I mean, it's pretty big. It's salt water. It's salt water. Yeah. You're going to float. It's crazy. I love this. Yeah. I expected fresh water. And it's really a lot warmer than you thought it was going to be, isn't it? Uh, compared to Mexico Cenotes? Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> Should be fine. No problem. Let me see. I'm going to dip in. Oh, yeah. I, it's the belly. I don't know if I can do. The feet, no problem. But you guys did it. Good for you. I'll be in in a minute. Yeah, I know. That's why we're here. It is warmer on this side. The water must come in over here. It is just kind of once in a lifetime opportunity, though. Pro tip swim to the back side, it's warmer. Where Bob is, is warmer, he says. Where you get in, it's cooler. So it must be where the water comes in from the ocean. But just lying there and looking up at all the stalactites. It's definitely a bucket list experience and next we'll take you and show you where they have converted a cave like this into a spa so if this isn't your thing they have spa treatments inside a natural cave just listen to the water though lapping the sides of the rock It looks deep, too. Maybe 30 feet. That's pretty deep. Okay. Here I go. The best part is when you're in, it's still dripping on you. So cool. Gotta, gotta add it to your list. We're now entering the underground spa cave. It's very quiet, very dark, very peaceful inside. Ahead you'll see the canopies. The treatments are all on platforms over the water.
So, the story here is that this church was never completed. It was designed to seat 650 uh, yes, parishioners. Uh, <laughs> anyways, but there was a split in the congregation, so they lost some funding, and here it sits. They do weddings here, so if you're into destination weddings, this might be the place for you. I think it's very cool. It is locked, just FYI, so um, we can't go inside and explore more, but we'll try to get some additional views of the inside, but it would be a neat, really cool place to hold the wedding, and they do allow it, so hey, give us a call would be very memorable. Maybe even a cruise destination. You're here long enough, three days, and get it all done. So this is the interior of the unfinished church. This is a Gothic church built in the 1870s that was never completed for a number of reasons. They had a parishioner split and uh, the funding then ran dry and they were not able to finish the church. So it's been sitting here since then. This is open for visitors. However, the gates are locked right now. Uh, the Google information I have says it's available 24 hours a day, but that is not the case any longer. But if you are a destination wedding planner, or if you're looking to get married yourself, what a remarkable place. We're in the town of St. George. Next, Glass Beach. Very cool. Now, this is like a national park or property, but it is, there is glass and creations everywhere on this beach. They say, please don't take the glass. There's some walkway. And you can see it's a beautiful beach. Let's go explore. Hmm? Look, look at the look at the line. Yeah, this is all like just it's freshly amazing. washed up. Oh, there's China out here too. Or if, yeah. So that's some porcelain china. Wow, and there's more. I can see another piece right yeah. up ahead. And another one. So what is sea glass? Sea glass is basically the dump. This is where they used to dump all their old plates and old bottles and everything else. And it's been broken up and tumbled across the sand and the rocks for years. It smooths the surface and it turns it into a stone. Absolutely beautiful. And there's every, every color here. Every color. There's glass in various states of becoming sea glass over here. Lots of big pieces. I mean, look at this one. Huge. This appears to be a keg of nails right here. You can see nails everywhere. Actually, no, it's not. That's chain. Chain? That's chain. So a small anchor chain all piled up. This is a treasure hunter's dream. This yeah. is the old dump. So you're gonna see everything down here. Metal engine parts everywhere. Metal engine blocks are all just buried in here. Everything was dumped over the side way back when and everything's been pushed up by the hurricanes and the other storms. Pro tip, come in the morning when there's the tide has gone out and Wear your water shoes. <laughs> Not all the glass is completely 
sea glass yet, so. But anyways, all kinds of treasure, fun to look around. Even a coconut. Towards the blue hole area, and behind us, hopefully we found a hidden treasure. We saw it off the trail. Let's take a look. Definitely a cave entrance. Wow, this is just a looking one, though. I mean, I guess you could go in. There's there's water. <sighs> I'm not gonna. Whoops, almost. I guess people do. There's some little stepping stone areas. Woo -hoo -hoo. There is a rope so you can get down. There's a rope so you can get out. Yeah. <laughs> not, uh, lit, not commercial. No. This, this one's real. Definitely. Oh, well, very cool. But we're looking for the open blue lagoon. The blue hole. Blue hole. That's right. Blue hole. So we shall keep wandering. On the top of the dive platform, you can see the ocean beyond. So this is salt water that has created come in here to this little lagoon. There's a top ledge in the real wilderness here. <laughs> if he answers, it's okay, right? Really? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Ah! <laughs> oh, good nice splash. <laughs> okay. And Bob is up. No final words. Just here we go. Okay, here we go. Geronimo. No, it's going to be stupid. You watch. Don't be too stupid. It'll be a little stupid. Okay, let me see. Jump out. Don't hit the rocks. <laughs> Much warmer than the other. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, let's swim this way, boys. Much saltier, too. Okay. One of the many pink beaches in Bermuda. Absolutely gorgeous. But this is definitely pink. Okay, tell them what this is. What we heard. So what we have heard, two things. This is pink coral that has been pounded by the surf for millions of years or thousands of years. Or it is the waste product of the parrotfish eating the same pink coral. Write it in the comments below and let me know what you know or what you think is the cause of the pink sand. We're now at the Admiralty House and we're on the trail down to the beach. We know little about this. It's a little hidden gem. It might be a beautiful shiny gem or it might be a tarnished one. We'll find out shortly. Well, it turns out that we hit a winner. This place is gorgeous. Very calm water, easy snorkeling. We're at Admiralty Park. You park in the parking lot up near the old abandoned community center and walk your way down the concrete path and get all the way down. Absolutely amazing. We're gonna go snorkeling here in a few minutes. And we're already seeing some fish. We saw a couple barracuda just up here from the walkway. The color of the water. There's also supposedly some hidden tunnels in the park from where the uh, Admiral's house stood. So we're going to look for that later. But even a small little beach right there. We are here kind of late in the day. There's actually a little spot here where just want to use the steps you can just hop on in but the water is beautiful and there's a few other people out snorkeling 
We're going to join them. Found the first of the tunnels. It's very tunnely. It's pretty cool. So I guess for some reason the Admiral had some secret entrances to the house. And that's where we're climbing now, but I don't know why he would have secret entrances. Holy moly. Um, this is freaking. Okay, first of all, the view is amazing. And those are your cruise ship docks, King's Wharf. And the water is amazing, which you could actually probably jump in, but actually turn your light on Get it up. but the tunnels down here you guys oh my gosh if you like this kind of thing which i guess we do because we're here it goes like look look at this it's crazy there are swimming holes and tunnels everywhere this is so cool now Bob's getting out his light because this tunnel is going way in here way and I don't know where it goes and it's dark Turn on a little more light and see if we can see. Not a lot of light, but it's light. <laughs> Don't trip. It's not even surfaces here, guys. Uh, oh, it's getting darker. And yeah, dark. I see light at the end, though. Oh, but there is light at the end of the tunnel. This is freaking me out because it's. Okay, don't go so fast. I can't see anything. I need your light. Okay, let's see what this is without getting too close because I don't want to jump close. through. Oh, you guys. Seriously? It's like a blowhole. Oh, crap. That is so cool. Get back a little bit. It's just nice to... Yeah. Okay. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. It's very dark. Or Can you believe this was carved out? No. Me either. You guys, this is awesomely cool. There's another hole. Oh my gosh. Where are we? Okay, we're in the back of it now. Oh my god. This is a defensive position. Oh. Okay, the light isn't doing this justice right now because it's it's just too dark, too bright coming in. The water's Beautiful. Yeah, it looks like this held a cannon at one time. It looks very defensive. Okay. So this maybe wasn't for the house, or it was, because it's the Admiral's house. It was house. part of the house, but it may have been the defensive of the Marine. Okay. You uh, can see where there was a door right here. Okay. Wait, here comes a boat. I can hear it. There it goes. We are a ways in here. This is crazy. And it's not very level. So you just, if you do it, be careful. Bring a better life than we did. Yeah. There's no bats. That's the best thing. There's no bats. Okay, add this to your bucket list, you guys. This is pretty cool. We love exploring old stuff, finding hidden gems. Okay, watch your steps. Yeah. This is, again, kind of like the, the blue hole. And that's one of them. There's more. So cool. Oh, look at this. We didn't even see it. <gasps> Oh no. We have a stairwell. Oh my gosh. We must go. Okay, go ahead. Oh. 
Okay, we found another stairwell, except it's so dark. I can't see anything. <gasps> wow, maybe this is the way most people came in and out. I'm sure. Eh, no one knows we, what we do. We did the hard way. <sighs> see? Handrail and everything. Okay, you can see the old hinge and doors were right here at one time. These are the old hinges. Oh, yeah. Yay, we found it. It's not that hard to find, but we didn't know for sure what we were looking for. But you can see when you come out, there's the main trail, the road right there. Okay. And hidden, that's where we went. Uh, it was very cool. So basically, go to the palm tree, turn left. It's not a very worn path. You wouldn't know. No. But that's what you're looking for, just that. So there's really not much left of the uh, house. I think these walls are kind of part of it. We didn't find any more hidden tunnels, but that was cool. We were just as we were leaving the parking lot, Natalie found another cave. So we had to back up the rental car, and now we're on foot again. And here's the next cave she just found. Look for it near the tennis courts. It's hidden. And it looks a little scary. <laughs> the doors are open. The doors are open. And they have mowed this area at least. What does it say? Uh, this tunnel was made under the direction of Admiral Earl of Dundonald in AD 1850. There you go. Holy. Oh my gosh. This really can't be safe. But you gotta go. You're here. What are you gonna do? We need light. Yeah. This is where the, the guard sat it looks like. One on each side. And it's not tall. Let's see where Bob's Head is, and he's going. <laughs> this is like self cave exploration. Who knows where we're going? I guess it's been here since 1850, so it should still be okay. <laughs> it's way back. Uh huh. How far are we going? I don't know. We're under the road. Okay, under the road. Oh. Okay. I guess it's okay. Where does it go? <laughs> and we have cell signal. It's a little creepy. He has to lead the way. Hello! Don't go too fast because I'm back here with nothing on my feet. Okay. Fills up with rainwater. Oh, God. I feel like I'm almost in a... Yeah, it's starting to get swampy. Uh... It's a rock. Yeah, there's some dirt on the bottom down here. A lot of sand. It starts getting mushy. I think the um, I hear the ocean. I think the ocean maybe. Or if it was raining, we might get flooded. I can hear ocean though. I wonder how far does it go? This was dug with a pick. Look at, you can see the marks. Mm -hmm. The chunks. Yeah. Wow. Hand dug. Right. It's limestone, so it's not hard to dig with. I do see some light up ahead. Ooh, light is light at the end of the tunnel. That's good, because it's we're in here. Oh, we're getting closer. A ways. Yeah, I see an iron door coming up. Okay. 
I do too. There needs to be a hinge right there. Mm. Or something. Mm -hmm. And it's open. The Admiralty House is lesser known for the first time visitors of Bermuda, but put it on your list. If you have time, put an hour on your list for the Admiralty House. Heck yeah. This is the if you like this kind of exploration off the beaten path, exploring, then this channel's for you because that's what we love. Oh, look at this. Whoa. So we're in the middle of the freaking jungle. <laughs> I think it's easier to go back through the tunnel. Oh, sure. We went under the road, though. Well under. Yeah. You can hear it above us. All right. Here we go. So oh, pitch black. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you went through there. Ah! <laughs> With a cell phone light. I know. Okay. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And a special shout out to our viewers who have called us and trusted us with their bookings on their next vacation.